Hey my friends, welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wings. Today I wanted to um, start my new folio journal. Um, I was planning to make one, not this soon, but eventually I was planning to make another one. Um, but uh, my friend Dahlia made a beautiful Halloween kit, journal kit, and it inspired me to make the folio journal sooner. And so um, here is some of the papers, some of the pages of her kit. So I um, printed these out for now. It's not the whole kit, but just wanted to give you an idea of what um, she has in her Halloween kit. Uh, and this is called Whimsical Vintage Halloween um, Kit. Look how pretty it is. So I did print out um, some of the pages that I feel I was going to start with. How pretty. Look at that. The smoking one. I love these pages. Um, and then um, I did not print them all out because I just wanted to print them as I need them. Um, look at these. How pretty. With the haunted houses. Or the creepy houses. Those are gorgeous. Those images. Um, and so if you are interested in... Um, something like this uh go visit her coffee shop i'm gonna put that information down below um it's a beautiful beautiful kit look at this one here i think it's 41 pieces there's a lot more than this these are just the ones that i printed out because i'm gonna start playing them out with these um so you get some tags you get all these pieces here that you can cut out um and there's a lot more than this these are just the ones that i printed out you have some more there you have some words and um little circles that you could embellish with and then you have journaling cards here and then there's more tags so of course i did um print these out in the card stock and then these are just um copy paper but beautiful kit um so i thought that i would Show from scratch how I do my uh, folio journals from three um, legal size uh, copy paper. And so I thought that I would start the journal with this color paper here. Um, and so I have to make these uh, 14. So this is a regular size um, legal size paper and I go by that. So, I did cut out um, from one sheet just to extend it to 14. I don't think that I'm going to extend it to 9. I thought that I wanted to do that, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll see, because then I will have to do all three pages the same. So, I'll see if I want to do that. Uh, anyway, so I'm going I'm to take three sheets, and I'm going to extend them. And this is just copy paper, but in color. Um, I don't know if it's a teeny, teeny, teeny bit thicker than regular copy paper. I think it has a little tiny bit of weight more than the copy paper, but it's not much of a difference. Um, excuse me if my voice sounds different. I'm a little bit congested. I'm coming down with something. So, okay. I'm going to put these aside, and I'm just going to measure with the legal size and then I'm going to extend it. It doesn't have to be super perfect but close to it and I'm just going to add tape here and I'm just going to add regular scotch tape because that's all going to be covered and I did do it so that I can overlap it. I think that I should be fine there. Okay. Doesn't matter if it doesn't come out super straight. Okay. And then I'm going to put some on the other side here. Okay, and that's one. So 
that's going to be the size there. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all three of them. So I don't know if I want to extend it. So this is of course the eight and a half this way. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it nine. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that so that it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do now with each of these is I'm gonna fold them. So what I tend to do now, I, I'm not going to measure, so this is the way that I fold it, and more or less I know um, how it's going to fall, so let's see. You can measure it if you want, I don't, and then what I do is I adjust it, you see here, to me I feel like that's a little much there. I don't know if you can see, see that? There's too much space here. So that's, that is how I tend to adjust. So I'll bring it a little bit more. And fold it. And then adjust it here too. You don't want this part to overlap. You want it to be even with the edge. And this is the time when you can definitely um, adjust it, straighten it, change it up a little bit before you add anything on it. Okay, so that is that. Yeah, it does have a little bit, but not as much as before. So that's one page there. So we're gonna do all of them the same. See, this one came out better. But I still need like a teeny bit space smaller, so I'm just gonna adjust it. Okay. And there you go. That's the second one. And then we're gonna do the same. So I kind of like give it like that. Kind of like fold it so that I have an idea where I'm going to fold it. And this one is perfect. Okay. okay. So now I have my three legal size papers. And they're all the same. So now what I'm going to do is to put this one as my main paper and I'm going to just adhere any scored one, any corner here, you can attach to here. Either way, you can attach it this way or you can attach it this way, whichever one you want. Um, I'm going to do that with tape. You can definitely do it with glue. 
when I started doing these, um, I started with glue and I just uh, put put the glue on the edge. I did that and then I just um, made sure that I was moving it uh, so that it doesn't get stuck on one place. But I feel like it's probably more simple if you just use tape. And I'm going to use the same tape. I take it finishing. Of course, you can use any tape you have available. Try to even it out as much as you can. I'm just going to cut it because there's no way to bend it. And then I'm going to Turn it this way and we're going to tape this side here. You want to tape both sides. Okay. Okay, so now we have one. So this is your main paper and this is the second one. Okay, main paper and you see how you attach that one. Okay, so now you're going to do the same thing on this side here. And again, you can do it on either one. So I think I'm going to do it this way. Oh, maybe this way. Depending on how you put it, you can put it this way or this way. Your, your um, pages are going to fold in different directions. So... I think I'm going to do it this way. So now I'm going to add, I'm going just to stick those together. Try to even it out as much as you can. going to turn it this way and we're going to put some more tape on this side here. So you're just putting tape on both sides, okay? Making sure that it's going to stay. And then when you're turning your pages and you have your journal um, assembled, you don't want anything to fall apart. And since this is paper, scotch tape sticks just right. So there you go. Okay. And then this is the other part here. And this is the other part here. Okay, so now you can... Um... Okay, so let me just show you again. This is the main page here. And these are your two main page, main page, and these are your two. Yeah. Okay, so now you can figure out how you want to fold it. And you got to figure out which is going to be your front cover and then which is going to be your back cover. And then again, when you finally fold these, um, it's not going to be super even. So let me see how I want this. Um, okay, 
So there's something here that's okay. I think it's something like this. So I don't know if this um you can definitely adjust these as you are folding them. And you see how it gets, how it got a little short there. And that's fine. You can always add to it or you can leave it like that. You can add a trim. So once you start building on it, um, all of this will be hiding. And it gives you like uh, the option to you can add, like a, like I said, like a trim, or you can just add another piece of the paper and extend it, whatever you want. And that's what I plan to do. So I think this is the way I want it. So it opens up this way. It's going to open up this way. Then it's going to go this way. Then it's going to open like this. Then it's going to open like this. And then it's going to open like this. So that's the way it is. And then remember, you have all of these pages that you have to cover. So I think that's the way I like it. So I'm going to leave it like that. So this is going to be my front and this is going to be my back. So I don't know what I'm going to use for my front. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But I want to give you an idea of how I'm going to decorate these pages, right? In my other video, I showed um, how I decorated my pages, but I didn't show how I actually put this part together. And so I'm not going to, of course, show you how I'm going to do the whole journal that would take like tons and tons of parts to do this but um I just want to start so this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back um I just want to start at least this part here so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like so let's see what pages I can use right um I really like these they're so pretty and I thought I would use this color because it, it's kind of like a Halloween color. Um, and so here are some of the houses. Isn't that pretty? So I do have to cut them down and I don't want to make this video super long. So I think I'm going to cut these down first. And um, I'm going to come. I don't know why this one came out like this. Maybe this one came out. I don't think I um. Let me see something. It's gonna be shorter. I don't know why I came out with this. My prints don't come out. You see, like this one. Uh, I don't know what happened there. It goes all the way up and down. This one, for some reason, didn't print out like that. I usually have one border that's thick, but I cut that off. But this one has like two borders, so I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Oh, um, maybe I sent it to my printer. See, like this one here is completely, maybe it's the way I sent it to my printer. Uh, so I'm going to cut this down. <coughs> I'm going to cut a few of them down. And I'm going to come right back. Okay, so here I cut... Um, the papers and so they're going to be like this um, I'm going to put some of them because I may change my mind I may not just want to cover them I like to like get creative and do different things to the page but for now I'm gonna put some of these down um, but I think I want to distress a little bit and I want to do that before I actually, um, put the, the paper. So I think I'm going to do black because it's Halloween, right? Let's see. I'm going to lose my, um. This is the front here. So 
do something like that. So I think I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to take me a little bit to do. Um, but something like that, of course. And um, I'll come right back once I do the whole uh, journal, okay? Okay, so here I did ink up the journal. And you can see uh, the pages are inked up. Okay, so now I'm going to start... Um, putting down some of the pages and I'm going to start with this one here and I think I'm going to do something like this I had to wash my hands I'm a little wet I'm going to do this real quick going to use my scotch um, it really sticks and I think it's easier so let me just get one really really sticky One there. Um, uh, let's see. You can definitely use this one here. Um, I need to trim this one down a little bit. I forgot to ink that other one up. I get ahead of myself. I always do that when I'm doing videos. I totally forget steps. So I just want to show you, you know, just the base of how I did it. 
of course I'm not going to do the whole journal on camera because it's going to take a lot a lot of videos to do um, so I want to do this one off camera and come back and surprise you with the finished journal but I wanted to show you how I put the base together. Okay. See, and as you're putting them, the pages start getting um more sturdier let's see i'm going to do this one so yeah, i'm skipping some pages because i don't want to do them all the same And I may want to uh, add some other um, Halloween papers. So in other words, it won't be like, it'll be mainly Dahlia's beautiful um, journal kit. But I do want to add other uh, Halloween papers uh, mixed in there. So. Just have blue so that it can stay down. we can add. Let's do one here. Right there. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the cover. I have an idea, but um, I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do. And I'm going to try my very best to keep this one a little bit more flatter, but I can't guarantee it. I'm going to try my best to keep the format of the journal. Okay, so this is going to go here. Okay, so that's that there. Um, let's see. See, there's so many other, so many more pages to um, cover. See? 
And then you still have this side here too. So, a lot of pages. Um, So this is the front, this one's going to be the back, and so that's the way it's going to be. I still have these to cover, and then you have this one here, you have these two here, this one here, um, and this one opens this way, and you have all these here, and you still have, so there's a lot more that I have to cover, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how to how I would put my base together and that's it guys and this this, this is made out of three legal size paper um, like I said as you start um, adding layers to it the paper does get sturdier and um, I can tell you that it won't break or anything like that um, so yeah So I'm not going to cover all the pages because, like I said, I do want to change it up a little bit. Um, and I'm, as I'm looking at it now, I still don't know what I want to do with the other pages. I am going to add a few more of these. Um, the front, I'm not sure what I want to do with the front. But, yeah, this kit is really, really cute. Definitely go check it out in Dahlia's coffee shop. I'm going to link her channel down below and um, her coffee shop as well. She also has uh, freebies that she's giving away. So if you go to her shop, you'll see it. Um, you can download it for free. And that's awesome. So she's very generous that way. So go check it out. Um, so I don't know. Let me see. I think I should just add, I like this one here with the pumpkin. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to put this one here. I just want to have to trim it down a little bit. This was going to be just fine there. Where is my... Okay. there
okay so this is the journal guys um, I'm gonna come back with the finished journal um, but I just wanted to show you the base of how I make it um, very very simple um, go back rewind if you need to see it again but very simple um, you can definitely fill it up with ephemera and all of that just keep in mind that if you're gonna do something like this um, and if you fill it up too much uh, it won't keep the form of the journal so um, if you want to check out the journal that I did before this one um, uh, same style journal um, check it out and see um, how I was able to fill it up um, and not make it super bulky but I mean, it is gonna get like a little bit bulky but um, if you want to keep the form, just try not to put like too much um, texture or three-dimensional things in it. Um, but I was able to put enough things in it and make the journal pretty and, and still keep most of the format of the journal. So if you want, I'll, I'm going to link that video down below so you can check it out. Um, I just showed that video recently, the journal recently, and um, just take a look at that journal and see how it turned out same uh, size as this one so yeah I'm excited to finish playing around with this one um, with the Halloween theme um, and yeah let's see what else I can add it add to it so yeah guys thank you so much for joining me I'm gonna come back with an update with this journal um, so if you're interested in the journal go check out Dahlia's channel everything will be down in the description box um, say hello, uh, subscribe to our channel, make a new friend. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me know what you think. Any comments, put it down below and stay tuned for the finished journal. It probably won't be anytime too, too soon, but as soon as I'm done with it, I'll bring it to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.